Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for March 23. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. By the way, right now, there's a humble bundle with a huge 97% off discount on Cinti assets. There are so many game ideas you could build with all of these. Maybe you could build a World War II shooter or a plane simulator with Warpack. Maybe a Lord of the Rings inspired RTS with this one. Then perhaps use the Gang Warfare pack to make some kind of tycoon game. Maybe make your own Left 4 Dead with the boss zombies. You could build something like Fallout Shelter with the Apocalypse Interiors. Maybe make some kind of Battle Royale with the Battle Royale pack. Or perhaps a Souls-like with the Dungeon pack. Or really just prototype anything with the very useful prototype pack. Personally, I'm a huge fan of their low poly style, and if you also like it and you want tons of assets with a huge variety for a super deep discount, then check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a really nice looking tune shader. There's tons of tutorials out there where you can learn how to build this kind of thing, but having a simple free package makes it so much simpler. Personally, I'm always a fan of tune shaders, always makes the game look really interesting regardless of what assets you use, so if you want to make your games a little bit different, then this is a really easy way of achieving that. Next, here is an interesting tool that does exactly what it does, it helps you serialize dictionaries. This is also something that is quite a bit annoying. Dictionaries are really awesome, but not being able to see them in the inspector is quite a bit of pain. Usually what I do is I define a struct with the key and value types, then I make a list of that type, and on awake I fill up the dictionary. Using this really makes that process so much easier. Next, if you want some nice low poly houses, here is a nice pack. Features quite a lot of variation for a free pack. Looking at this makes me really want to make a quick city builder prototype. Just with the road tiles alone, you can really make something quite interesting. Then here is another interesting tool. It's a graph for your object references, meaning that you can inspect an original object, then that object references a sprite and another object, and you can easily visually see those references. It's a very inventive tool. I've never seen anything like this. So this can be really great if you have tons of references for your objects. Like for example, if you use tons of scriptable objects to hold all kinds of if you need some VFX, here is a bundle with a whole bunch of magic effects. They are all excellent quality and quite a lot of variety for a free pack. Feature some magic circles, some auras, a bunch of slashes, explosions and more. Adding some excellent VFX is a super easy way to really add some polish to your games. This one is a free pack and if you like it then this dev has tons more. If instead your game has some weapons, here is a nice low poly pack. It features a pistol, a knife and a rifle, all with separated body parts. So I think this would be the perfect pack to do a quick prototype on a kind of weapon attachment system. By being low poly means you can start from this one as you build your system, then you can buy a complete pack to use in the final game. This dev has packs with tons and tons of weapons for a really low price. Up next for another tool, here is a simple REST server. This one is quite interesting. Basically, you can make Unity into a server which can then receive and respond to HTTP requests. And that could be obviously a server on the internet, or it could also be just local host if you want to build some tools just for yourself. For example, I researched how to do c sharp named pipes, which is quite tricky. Using this tool would have definitely made that process much easier. It looks extremely extremely well built and really easy to use. Honestly, I'm quite surprised that this is free. If it helps you, maybe look into picking up one of the paid assets to support this dev. If you have a 2D side scroller, then look at this robot. Pretty nice character with some separated body parts and multiple weapons, so this would be a great starting point for a side scrolling shooter. Then for another tool, here is Simple Atoms. This one appears to be an implementation of that famous Unity scriptable object song. It supports variables, events, and listeners, so you make a scriptable object and you can easily link up logic by linking that object. It's an interesting pattern, one that is more designer friendly than just linking up regular events. And if you're making a cute game, look at this sparrow. Very tiny, very cute, quirky character. It includes the character and 18 animations. As usual, if you like this style, then this dev has tons more. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity S Store for March 23. There's links to all in the description, and also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.